Prince Harry's relationship with his mother was cut tragically short due to her untimely death in August 1997. Even so, the royals shared a bond that seemed to have transcended lifetimes, and new information on the love they shared is still coming to light. One of the most striking revelations in the first episode of the Netflix original docuseries Harry and Meghan was Prince Harry's confession that he doesn't have many clear memories of his late mother, Princess Diana. By his own admission, Harry believes that this may have been because he blocked out certain parts of his upbringing. However, the royal does recall that his childhood was filled with happiness, adventure, and laughter. In the same interview, Harry highlighted how brazen his mother was, advising him to break the rules from time to time. I always saying to me, like, you can get in trouble, just don't get caught. And I'll always be that cheeky person inside. However, Harry does recall his last interaction with Diana. As season six of Netflix's The Crown dramatized, both Prince William and Prince Harry received nightly phone calls from their mother whenever they were away from her after their parents separated. As he recalled in the 2017 documentary Diana, Our Mother, Her Life and Legacy, one of these calls would be the setting for the last time he spoke to his mother before her untimely passing. Reflecting on the conversation, Harry expressed he doesn't precisely remember the words they exchanged. Instead, he lives with the regret of keeping the conversation so brief. But all I do remember is, is probably, you know, regretting for the rest of my life the, how short the phone call was. Prince Harry was only 12 years old when his mother died, so it's little surprise to learn he struggled to cope with such a monumental loss at such a young age. Indeed, in 2023, the royal told 60 Minutes host Anderson Cooper that he didn't truly accept his mom's death until he was 23. He explained, I just refused to accept she was gone. Part of, you know, she would never do this to us, but also part of maybe this is all part of a plan. The Spare author also revealed how for many years he still harbored hope that he'd receive a phone call from an alive and well Diana who'd then disclose her whereabouts. In the end, it took a trip to the French capital and the scene of the fatal accident in particular for him to be able to accept the reality of her death. It was a subject Harry also opened up about while speaking to Michael Strahan on Good Morning America that same year. He described these beliefs as a defense mechanism and cited the trauma as the source of much of his erratic behavior throughout his youth. I wish I had the ability or the opportunity to do some form of therapy or at least be able to talk more about losing my mum. However, it's worth noting Harry went on to acknowledge that he's unsure whether his preteen self would have even agreed to participate in therapy if given the opportunity. Prince Harry has often spoken about the fact that his father, Prince Charles, couldn't even bring himself to hug his own sons upon delivering the news that their mother had died. However, lack of affection was never a problem Harry had to deal with when it came to his other parent. In Diana, Our Mother, Her Life and Legacy, Harry warmly recalled how Diana often used to show her love through very long and tight embraces. And being as short as I, as I was then, there was no escape. You were there, and you were there for as long as she wanted it to, to, to hold you. A clearly emotional Harry continued that even years later, he could still remember how hugs from Diana felt, and that he continues to miss that part of his familial life. Harry reflected, I miss that feeling. I miss that part of a family. I miss having that mother to be able to give you those hugs and give you that compassion that I think everybody needs. It's now been more than 25 years since Princess Diana died in that tragic car crash in Paris, sending the world into a collective state of mourning. However, in Diana, Our Mother, Life and Legacy, Prince Harry revealed that she still occupies his mind on a daily basis. We wonder what kind of a mother she would be now and what kind of a public role she would have and what a difference she would be making. As one might expect, Harry still puts her on a pedestal. He expressed that she was the best mother he could have asked for stating that she often made her love for her children abundantly clear. As Meghan Markle found out after marrying Prince Harry, one of the major downsides of being a royal family member is the relentless intrusion and scrutiny from the press. While that's an issue Harry has had to deal with since birth, he revealed in the Netflix documentary series Harry and Meghan that Princess Diana did everything she could to shield him and his brother William from the glare of the spotlight. Despite the enormity of this challenge, Diana seemed to see it as her responsibility to spare her children from as much media scrutiny as she herself was under in any way she could. To achieve that goal, Harry explained that some of her tactics were simple acts like going out for a burger, seeing a movie, and listening to music on a drive through the country. Sadly, this task got even harder for the princess to complete after her split with Prince Charles. 
As Harry reflected in Harry and Meghan, her isolation from the royal family left her even more vulnerable to the press than before. In addition to ensuring the environment her children grew up in was as normal as possible, Diane also tried to make sure her sons had the freedom to be kids, despite the weight of their responsibilities as royals. In Spare, Prince Harry discussed how his mother did her best to preserve this element of their upbringing, and even acknowledged Princess Diana was often a big kid herself. Harry spoke fondly of the mornings he used to spend at his mom's Kensington Palace apartment, and in particular, the fun he used to have in her bedroom. He wrote, I remember that she had a waterbed, and Willie and I would jump up and down on the mattress screaming, laughing, our hair standing straight up. And the good times didn't stop when Diana's day started. Harry fondly reflected on the breakfasts he shared with his mother, highlighting her love of fruits and the fact that she rarely drank tea. Even when Diana started working, Harry and William would stay with her while she had meetings. And perhaps most surprising of all, while Diana often seemed like the height of decorum, her youngest admitted that she liked nothing more than participating in burping contests with her sons. One of the most surprising revelations from Prince Harry's 2023 memoir concerned a visit to a woman with skills akin to a psychic. Stricken with grief over the death of his mother, the royal decided to seek some spiritual help from a lady who, quote, claimed to have powers. She subsequently delivered a message from beyond the grave, which Harry recounted as, you're living the life she couldn't. You're living the life she wanted for you. The prince doesn't go into detail of the when or where, or indeed name, of the supposed clairvoyant in question. He even admits that he understood there was a strong likelihood she would deceive him somehow. But he decided to give her a chance anyway, as friends of his suggested they meet. The medium also told Harry that Diana was with him, and that she understood her son was searching for many answers that she assured would come in time. To lend some credibility to the encounter, the woman Harry patronized also recounted how Diana's entity was aware of a broken ornament that his son Archie had tried to repair. When Harry confirmed this had happened, he was informed Diana had found the occasion humorous. Princess Diana was renowned for her determination to break royal protocol, and she exhibited this tendency by doing everything from shaking hands with AIDS patients to going barefoot at an appearance at a school sports day. She just smashed all that fear down by that, 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 one, that, one, that one handshake. And as evidenced by Prince Harry's recent exploits, the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree when it comes to her youngest. Diana recognized early on that Harry had a mind of his own. In one of several letters she penned to Cyril Dickman, a friend and Buckingham Palace steward, the Princess of Wales spoke of her eight-year-old's rebellious behavior. She wrote, The boys are well and enjoying boarding school a lot, although Harry is constantly in trouble. In his Apple TV Plus docuseries, The Me You Can't See, Harry acknowledged that he'd inherited this particular trait from his mother. Referring to his breakaway from the rest of the royals, he said, Family members have said, just play the game and your life will be easier. But I have a hell of a lot of my mom in me. I feel as though I am outside of the system, but I'm still stuck there. The only way to free yourself and break out is to tell the truth. Prince Harry isn't the only member of his close family to take after his late mother. According to the band himself, Meghan Markle also shares plenty in common with Princess Diana, particularly when it comes to their emotional intelligence. She has the same compassion, she has the same empathy, she has the same confidence, she has this warmth about her. In the second episode of Harry and Meghan, we see the former royals dealing with press intrusion that's very similar to the invasions that Diana had to deal with throughout her adult life. In the episode, Harry recalls that Diana would often be in tears on the way to fulfill her royal duties, but once she arrived, she could turn her mood around in a matter of seconds to give the public the illusion she was fine. Harry also spoke of the first time that Meghan realized that she'd become the new focal point of the royal family after being splashed on the front page of a British newspaper. He reflected, She was like, but it's not my fault. And I said, I know. And my mom felt the same way. In 1992, Princess Diana agreed to be recorded while conducting several interviews for a book about her life. These interviews became Andrew Morton's biography, Diana, Her True Story. And in a transcript published for a revised edition, she described Prince Harry as a complete joy. That was in stark contrast to the initial reaction that Prince Charles had toward his youngest son. Diana revealed that her ex-husband had been hugely disappointed that their second child wasn't a girl. She said, Harry arrived, Harry had red hair, Harry was a boy. First comment was, oh god, it's a boy. Second comment, and he's even got red hair. 
Diana also opened up about the time that her own mother argued with Charles over his reaction to Harry's birth, reflecting, she said, you should realize how lucky you are to have a child that's normal. Ever since that day, the shutters have come down. Reportedly, Charles didn't take too kindly to being called out in this manner, and the late Princess of Wales went on to observe that it was around this time that she realized her marriage was over. The Shakespearean rift between Prince William and Prince Harry has inevitably attracted just as much attention in the press as anything Princess Diana did during her 36 years. The younger of the royals admits that their mother would be devastated if she could see just how much their relationship has collapsed. Speaking to ABC's Good Morning America in 2023, Harry was asked how his mother would have felt about the rift between him and William that reportedly started seven years earlier over Harry's burgeoning romance with Meghan Markle. I think she would be heartbroken that it's ended up where it's ended up. Harry also acknowledged that his mom would have been equally saddened at how her sons had both used the media as a weapon against each other, as the pair had previously made a pact never to do such a thing. But with rumors of William's team leaking stories about his brother to the press and Harry making several damaging allegations in return in his book, it's fair to say that that promise has been well and truly broken.